The European Parliament is the largest democratic assembly in the developed world and is under siege from lobbyists for everything, from toothpaste makers to faith healers. In 2009, the European Union passed a law to promote the use of biofuels in Europe's cars, fuels that lawmakers mistakenly believed were cleaner than fossil fuels. Even as scientists and environmental NGOs questioned the real benefits of certain biofuels for the planet, with evidence that they could actually be emitting more carbon in the atmosphere than conventional fuels, farmers, oil companies and even car makers pressed hard to ensure the law went ahead. Seven years in the newly elected parliament later, TND, BirdLife and EEB set out to frame the debate so that the science could speak for itself. For MEPs to grasp the necessity of biofuels reform, we crafted a strategy in three steps to be deployed online and on the ground. Starting with the little book to set the boundaries of the debate, we introduced the hard facts in a comprehensible form. Thanks to a teaser poster with the tag, which future are you working for? Politicians flocked to an event launching the little book, where they were invited to take a side in the debate. A hard-hitting video set the tone for the discussion, which was well received by MEPs and their assistants. It was used again and again throughout the campaign, featuring on Yahoo News and Huffington Post, and garnering 34,000 views. And the biofuelsreform.org web documentary was deployed with impeccable timing. Beyond the interactivity and smooth user interface, the documentary had at its heart a journalistic exposition of every angle of the topic and every single voice, including industry's counter-arguments. It included credible press articles showing the concerns of scientists and of the European Commission itself about the actual benefits of first-generation biofuels. Crucially, interviews with the most important members of the European Parliament, including the rapporteur, painted a very realistic portrait of the state of the debate. The web documentary succeeded in its objective to be the go-to place for every parliamentary assistant. In the first week of the launch, more than 2,000 unique visitors, all based in Brussels, were recorded. Five days before the vote, a wider pressure campaign swung into action, targeting key MEPs. Through a user-friendly two-clicks Twitter interface, citizens could directly ask their politicians to stop bad biofuels. It clocked up more than 3,000 tweets to 10 MEPs in two working days. The results of the web documentary spoke for themselves. With visitors spending, on average, more than three minutes on the site and peaks of more than four and a half minutes in the first week, the tool was extremely effective in putting the positions of NGOs in front of politicians and allowing this topic to finally be discussed in all its complexity. In the end, MEPs decided to revise the legislation and the industry is now reconsidering its investments in these fuels that were supposed to green Europe, but failed somewhere along the way. And what better proof of its success than to have the rapporteur reproach lobbyists in the heat of the debate? Oh, it's problematic. I don't need the preaching, I need the facts. Biofuelsreform.org brought these facts to the table and helped politicians take informed decisions in order to stop bad biofuels.